Yes, actually I will correct your figures. The figures are these. 700,000 Kenyans are employed by the government, both the national and the, the county governments. Uh, 1.4 are in the private sector and 2.3 are in the informal sector. So 69% of Kenyans are unemployed, including in Nairobi. So it's a very serious problem. And when it comes to youth, it's about 75%. I've looked at the figures. Now, this is a very bad problem. And this is why I've come up with an infrastructural-based um, manifesto that will build roads, build light rail. People say it cannot be built here. The Ethiopians are built in Addis Ababa. The, the Tanzanians have built it in the last two years. It is in every major city. This will create hundreds of thousands of jobs, will enhance skill base of the youth. I would like to build a subway system. The latest one was built in Madrid. Uh -uh. I really feel for our young population in our country. Having visited Dandora, Korogocho, and Bakasi in the entirely, you get a whole lot of frustrated young people who are educated and cannot get any employment opportunities. And it's a time bomb waiting to tick. Unless we create a business environment that promotes investments, where we sort out our traffic issues, where we don't waste four hours on the roads, where water issues are sorted out, healthcare issues are sorted out, Unless we get the basics right, investors will not come to our city. In the long term, you need to get a proper business environment to allow investors to come in so that you can start recruiting these young people. The danger, Joe, is that these are educated young people. Going down Tomboya Street the other day, I met Paul, who has a degree, master's in statistics. That should tell you how intelligent they are. That the universities are channeling out people but there are no opportunities. Your, your, your time is up. Bado hili mashirima ambayo mepea Professor Mariaktari kuuliza lina affect wale watu wako chini kabisa. Ambao wengi wao haelewe kizungu mingi mingi ambaye duguzangu hapa wanatu, wanatumia. Wananchi wa Nairobi wanataji suluhisho. Na sisema yati nadharau wale middle class ambao wanaongea kingereza zaidi. But swali la unemployment lina usu wale watu wa vitongo jiduni. Wengi wao wakena kusa, kutafuta kazi kutembea, kutumia migu, kutoka Kibera, kutoka Korogosho, kutoka Dandora, kwenda kutafuta kazi kwa ma industries zetu za Nairobi. Ningependa kupeana mfano. Nilipuana dugu yangu hapa amezembea kikazi. Kwa sababu serali kariku bado inapatia na pesa ya youth empowerment, kuje, wa vijana kujengiwa modern sheds, wa mama kwa empowered. Lakini sababu ya ofisadi na dugu yangu walikuja na waizi kutoka mumias, pesa yote inashia kwa matumbo ya wezi. Mimi nikaona Nairobi kuna haja ya kuaddress hili swala la ukosefu wa kazi. Nilikuja na Sonko Rescue Team yangu ambayo niliajiri sana vijana wengi sana sababu wakati sitaki ku mention departments lakini zinajulikana na wale watu ambao na waongelesha wale wa, wa chini kabisa. Bado 1.2 million people get into the job market every year and 700,000 of them end up uh, in Nairobi that's why Nairobi has such a big, uh, high population. What the county government has done uh, is uh, to use technology like in the construction industry where it was taking 18 months to get approvals for a building uh, with e-construction application. Now it's taking us um, 60 days and uh, the ease of doing business in terms of um, uh, license uh, provision and this is the reason why in the last three years we, Kenya, totally driven by Nairobi, has moved from number 143 to number, number 137 uh, to number um, 1992. Uh, My friend Sonko talks about um, the Sonko rescue team. I think one of the future problems we're going to have this country, one of the problems we're going to have is the reemergence of criminal gangs. Is the reemergence of criminal gangs. Because when you have people whom you I think of in youth, you, the youth, you, youth starts from age zero to age uh, 35, and probably a start with school. 
Okay, no heckling, please. All right. There are 500,000 school children in Nairobi, uh, which means the capacity per class is about 100. So in a, in a class of about 100, you cannot learn. You need to reduce it, so it's about 50. Uh, even though uh, education is a non-devolved function, uh, we took the initiative to start building class classrooms. Uh, there are 6,000 classrooms. We need 10,000. So far, we've done about um, 600. We've rebuilt. Oh, please. Just please. proceed. Just proceed. Yeah. We've uh, uh, all the social halls, which were, um, which are, which are, which had been uh, disused. We are building Kangete. We've done Kariobangi. We've done Altering. So, in Nairobi. Uh, the, the third thing is we've started initiatives recently, the, the dance group that uh, went to the years, we are the ones uh, who sponsored them, and we started the Governor's Cup, which involves about 17,000 youths. But uh, this is a question, in a, I trust the majority youth, while we uh, machinani, and poverty, idleness, joblessness, ndiyo inafanya crime rates ikue juu sana, hapa Nairobi County. And I remember kuna wakati mimi kama senator wa Nairobi nilichukua hiyo initiative mimi mwenyewe nikipata na polisi nikakuja na youth disarmament project kuna silaha mingi ambazo zinadhuru hata wale wa Kenya wako hapa ndani wakaa jackings kwa nini sababu ya vijana wale wana kazi kuiba so tulipata na polisi tukapeana amnesty tukanyang'anyana hizi bunduki zote tukazichukua kwa mikono ya wawizi na shida ile ambayo tuko nayo bado kwa county government na delegation challenge yangu huyu hapo na pesa Ya kusomesha hata comrades wale wako hapa data leo. Hako na pesa kusaidia university students wote wala natoka Nairobi County. Lakini naregelea tu my question, nepotism, ufisadi, bado kwa rampart Nairobi County. Inahinda development kwa Nairobi County. So tunaitaji kuwa na njia mwafaka za kwa kisha tunadress hii issue. Juzi the main strategy uyu ndugi yangu na mpenda kideru wako nayo, siku hizi vile anafanya, wako na gangi yao ya wezi. Nikifanya road show, walalipa wale wezi, walambia endeni muibie kina mama, endeni watu wanavaa, ananunua huyu print zangu za songo rescue team. Tumeshika watu, kwa me PPO, ananesikia is my witness. Anapea watu, jersey za songo rescue team wanavaa, mtu wanaenda na kisi, wananyanganya mama simu, kuniaribia mimi. Lakini tumesha ijua, na mimi naambia polisi. Mtu weote, anaibia mwingine, wafanya kazi yao. The question by OCS. It's an important question because, again, it affects the youth. And there was an issue of unemployment that was raised there. I have a question for you, Mr. Swahili. The question that I have heard is a very important question. I have heard it from the first time. It is important that the government of the county has to be able to kuwasaidia vijana katika miradi mashinani. Kama ni vijana ambao wako kule wanataka kufanya car wash wajengewe sheds. Kana, kama ni vijana ambao wanataka kuendelea na masomo wasomeshwe na county government ili wajijenge. Ni muhimu sana. It must be deliberate. If we have to solve these problems, the county government has to be deliberate in what it's doing. Deliberate in creating employment for young people. That is a must. I have just had abstractions, nothing concrete. So let me give you concrete answers. In page two of my manifesto, I've said 20,000 scholarships for bright, needy students. Concrete. The second concrete thing, the youth need economic and financial independence and empowerment. They don't need these things about sheds, whatnot. They also want to be like you, Mr. Gayo. They want to be like me. So we must create good quality jobs, but they must be trained in, uh, in skill uh, incubators, ICT centers. Then I will unveil a place for them to get free Wi-Fi and ICT access in libraries and schools. This is what they need. Then I will create a ministry of youth headed by my running mate who is also youth. And so that the youth problems will be dealt with at the executive level. This is what they need. They need empowerment, not handouts.